Come check out our second Armored Assault review on the Dirty Dirty Xenos kits from Games Workshop. Spiking bits. All right, welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear, and today we're looking at the second batch of brand new Armored Assault, one could say start collecting boxes, part two, from Games Workshop. These are the brand new $55 retail, except for these two right here, actually, I think are 60 retail, that allow players to basically pick up a squad and some sort of transport to go along with it and kind of either augment their existing force or kind of get the foot in the door on a new army or potential ally for their existing army. Now these all, like I said, retail for $55 US, but two of them, the Tyranid one and the Necron Phalanx, uh, retail for sixty dollars US, but that's okay. There's still a pretty good savings, you know, from twenty to thirty percent. And then, of course, if you get these at a discount from, say, Dice Head Games, War Store, Frontline, any of the big guys out here here in America, then of course you're getting an even better deal. And who doesn't like better deals? Pretty much no one. They all like better deals. What's really cool about these box sets is now Games Workshop, if you want to get started in the hobby, they pretty much have a, a start starting point for you. A $55 box, an $85 start collecting, or a $170 battle force. So it's a great time for the hobby for a lot of folks to get into it and or, or you know, pick up a new army, etc. etc. So this one right here, the Necron Warrior Arc Phalanx, comes with, well, course the, the doomsday arc or you know the true transport version of it and a squad of necron warriors which automatically come with some scarabs because that's just how they made it back in 2003 when they introduced the plastic points now i actually don't think we've unboxed i don't think we've unboxed the uh the necron warriors themselves because in 2002 i didn't even know what the internet was to be quite honest well it was like maybe just starting out so here is the arc which comes with two identical sprues here. Now, if you never put one of these together, it literally takes forever. <laughs> uh, you might want to look at not putting all the crew in at first or something like that. It just, this thing will bog you down in time. Just be aware, it's bananas time sink. It's like a time vampire, it's, it's pretty bananas. And then of course the Necron Warrior sprues where you get three identical ones and then it comes with the uh, the Scarab sprues on it. So they're gonna give you some 40 mils, they're gonna give you some 32 mils in here and of course all the little rods that insert into the gun. Now when you assemble these guys, there's actually two ways to do it with the tips because of the little green rod kind of thing. So you can either paint the whole model up and glue these in later using Elmer's glue. Do not use normal uh, super glue as they will craze the little green glowy sections here unless you just want to paint them separately where you can glue them in and just airbrush them up separately or by hand or something like that there's so just be aware you can keep the tips off and then glue them on glue the whole assembly in together later or just glue it together and realize that that's probably not going to do you any good because you're going to paint right over it that's always been the decision of necron players there now as far as monas go imperial credits so to speak the uh, Necron Warrior Arc Phalanx, the Ghost Arc goes for $50 right on its own. The Necron Warrior is at $36, so you've got a savings, well, I guess the individual MSRP is about $82, so savings of about 35%. Again, additional discounts apply, depending on where you pick up your, uh, your toys from. Mm, this one's being tough here. So that's probably why they increased this price to $60, because otherwise it would have been an even sweeter deal. All right, next up is the Turvagon Brood Progenator box set. So it's a Turvagon and basically a box of Gantz. Not sure if we've done the Gantz on here in the past because they're quite an old kit. 2005, I think. But we have done the Turvagon itself in 2013 when this came out that same month with uh, Thunderwolves when Games Workshop had that big uh, landmark legal case with Chapter House Studios and uh, decided it was a good, a good time to put these out because they've been sitting on them for a while. So there it is. You can make the two different versions of the big bug, the Turbagon or the Tyranno FX with the big cannon over here. It's a pretty sweet kit. Uh, a lot of people use these uh, little um, hive uh, arm things for Demon Prince conversions these days and you see them around on a, on a lot of different things. And then of course the Gants themselves, Termagants, not to be confused with with Hormagaunts. Gaunts and Gants, two different things, I swear. 
<laughs> and then you've got all the weapon accessory sprues so you can upgrade these guys or equip them however you want except for I think they, they come with the spear option now from the old rogue trader days I don't think there is a uh, weapon option for that one now as far as this box goes again it's a little bit pricier Turbagon is 57 75 and the Gants are 29 so you're looking at a total retail of 86 to 75 which gives you about a 35 percent deal so another big winner of the new armored assault boxes out there from games workshop okay dark eldar cabalite sky splinter which is basically a raider and a box of the warriors which you know you can kind of say they're whatever they're true born or just normal dudes etc etc i guess you can't really make them the flying guys so i know we've done these in the past there's the raider both sprues of it it's a fantastic kit but very difficult to store so be aware when you're gluing all these things on you don't have to glue on all the solar sails you can actually leave some of them off and plug them in later uh it's <laughs> i mean just really knocked it out of the park with this design here it's a fantastic kit and i'm really glad they went back and redesigned all those wonky ones from uh the early 2000s and then the warrior sprue that's uh it's been around about the same amount of length and it's got all the extra upgrades and things. You got your dark lances, your blasters. Uh, can't pick out anything else right at the top of my head. But again, great sprue. Obviously, everybody needs it uh, out there as well. This particular set retails for $37.25 for the Raider. Hey, look, another $37.25 transport. And then $29 for the Cabalites gives you a total retail value of $66. So you're only saving about 17%. So this one isn't a big winner. But again, if you're looking to pick up the Dark Eldar, it is a winner for you. Another optimized formation thingy-mabobber from the Tau. You got the optimized Pathfinder team, which is... It's basically a devilfish and a pathfinder team. Boom, done. <laughs> Stick a fork in it. Now I know, again, we have never done the devilfish on this channel because it came out in 2001, September 2001 to be quite precise. That was quite the quite the month for the for the world. I think I think uh, we can all agree on that one. And here is all of that. Of course, the crew upgrade sprue or the crew sprue, uh, as well as the gear and different things. It's always been a great kit from Games Workshop, very forward thinking for their time, I feel like, and it's definitely stood the test of time. Today, it's even a great looking kit. And of course, you get two of the drones for the sides of it. And then the Pathfinder team, which is a uh, pretty recent, 2013, I believe, that comes with uh, the new little um, super drone thing, which actually slots into right here. You can put it right into there, depending on how you build it. It's got the flip down weapon systems and things. And then, of course, all your market light dudes, you can get them with the rail rifles because they put all the options in here. I think there's even a marker, a marker drone and a shield drone in here as well. And the little one that, that tries to help to keep them safe from being assaulted as well. So great kit here. I, I, I would wager it is about 37.25 for the transport. Let's see. Nope, 38. Uh, so, so off. And the Pathfinder team is 35 giving you a total retail value of $73, savings of 25% on the day for this one right here at a $55 retail. And then we've got the Orcs. Everybody knows the Orcs are the bestest. <laughs> this is a truck and a boy squad. Nothing too crazy right there, right? But <laughs> as it turns out, most Orc players need a lot of these and this is a good way to save on them. I really couldn't tell you if we've done, I don't think we've done this on the channel because the orcs came out, the new orcs came out, I want to say in 2008, about a year before we started writing on the site and doing YouTube as well. So there's the boy squad, which as you can tell is uh, two identical sprues with one weapon upgrade sprue with all the knob weapons. You got your rocket kit and your stick bombs and all sorts of different things, tank buster bomb, whatever you want to call it and oh that big shooter and then these guys here just are you can either arm them with slugger or chop or slugger chopper or shooter and then the truck itself a great kit 
for kit bashing, all sorts of things out of it. All the wheels and everything goes onto the main chassis here, and then you build up the uh, structure around it. And then you can put the armor plates and things on it. You can actually, the drivers can go in left or right, either either way you want with the little Coppola there that can have like the wrecking ball or the gunner himself. And then you can have the flip down boarding planks. The front right here has the prowl if you want to go that way, or you can put uh, this thingy right here on it. It just kind of depends in the, the little front uh, orky teeth bumper. I've converted the crap out of these over the years. It's a great kit if you're looking to really get into kit bashing. Between orcs, the Dark Eldar Kronos uh, paint engine and the anything pretty much Admech that's about the same size you're looking to do, you can convert the crap out of things. Like that would be like a conversion, I guess a conversion uh, kit bag right there because that stuff would be great. All right, let's see what the monies are on the Orcs. 37.25 for the truck. I sense the theme. On the Orc Boys are 20, 29. Total retail value 66.25. Savings of 17%. No big deal. Like I said, everybody needs a billion of those. And last but not least is the Dirty Dirty Eldar, the Dark Angel, or Dark and Dire Adventure, Dark Angel, how did I get Dark Angel out of that? Dire Adventure Skyblade box that comes with, of course, a Wave Serpent and the Dire Adventures, which got better in this edition, along with everything pretty much Eldar, except for the Wave Serpent. It's kind of got nerfed. You don't really see him as much anymore. Now, we probably have not shown the Wave Serpent on here. I know we showed the Dire Avengers with the release. But here we go. This is a dated kit. Um, it, it's still great, but it was made in the 90s. It was one of the uh, the very first, along with the Rhino uh, vehicle spruce. Now, they've, they've spent some time and effort sprucing it up over the years with uh, a couple of different tops. Mm, where is the... Oh, okay, so this is it, sorry. So this actually is the Wave Serpent upgrade sprue that came second after the Falcon Grav Tank, which was this, plus a different sprue that had a different turret, and of course the Pulse Laser. But getting back to this, this is the new upgrade with the weapon options right here that you can basically use to extend the crew uh, compartment right here, and then have the weapons up top, which are right here as well. So. Obviously, if you've played 40k for any amount of time, you know that the Wave Serpent was pretty dirty. It's not quite as dirty anymore, but still, I shudder when I think about the level of dirtiness that it was. And then the Dark Angels, or Dark, why do I keep saying that? Dire Avengers Sprue. Uh, they're a great choice if you're looking to go with Aspect Warriors for Eldar, of course, and don't want to be super dirty with the um, Witchamajiggers, the Warp Spiders. But they, you know, they're not as good as some of the, they're just, Eldar in all in all, just accidentally good. You can't really go wrong with anything. And of course, they're not going to put jet bikes in this, um, you know, starter box because that would just be pretty much too easy as that was a newer kit. And I think it goes for about 40 bucks by itself. Now this box here, last but not least, is $44 for the Wave Serpent. Dire Ventures are $35. MSRP is $79.50 for a total retail value savings of 30%. So this is a really good deal if you're looking to get into Eldar and don't quite know, just kind of want to go middle of the road or just paint up some dudes. Obviously, it's uh, the Dire Ventures are always a great looking choice there. So that concludes our second of the Armored assault reviews today of course the first one was imperium this one is dirty dirty xenos you can check the other one out here on the channel as well if you're going to catch our twitch stream on monday we will be giving away several of these boxes during the stream as we go over news rumors and then of course get into some painting tutorials some live painting tutorials as well so check us out twitch.tv forward slash spiky bits tv Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.